Oh hey, what's up? Welcome to my new studio. That's so lame. What's up guys, it's me Vic and welcome back to the Sale of Vic YouTube channel. I know it's been a very, very long time since I posted my last YouTube video. I've been away for maybe like nine, 10, nine, 10 or 11 months. It's been a really long time, but I am back and I'm all ready to go. As you can see, I'm in my new workspace. This is going to be my new YouTube backdrop. And I'm really excited to share with you how I set this up, what this looked like before, what my studio situation looked like even before that earlier in 2020. If you didn't already know, I live in San Francisco and the housing and the rental prices in San Francisco are just insane. So the beginning of 2020, I was living in a roughly 600 square foot studio. My kitchen, my living room, my bedroom, all within this tiny box. So I didn't really have a lot of space. I started out painting on my dining table or it was like a kitchen island slash dining table. And I propped up a very cheap tripod on top, stuck a camera on there and tried to do top down time lapses of me painting. And then we found a table that was left out on the curb. So it was free. But it was an old Ikea table. Um, we tried to set that up right by the window and I was dealing with a lot of sunlight coming in. So I'd get like bright sun early in the morning and then the sun would come in and have like light leaks all over my desk. It was really hard to film time lapses. And then we went on to Craigslist and bought a table for either $100 or $150. And it was great, it had a lot of shelves so I could tuck in you know, some of my supplies, my paints and tools and things like that. And I even painted the back of it for fun. However, that situation, although it was good for painting, I had quite a hard time setting up lights to get enough so that I could paint comfortably. And we had some Ikea lights set up. So finally, over Christmas of 2020, we moved to a new apartment. It is still a very small apartment, but it's one bedroom. And I do have this designated space that's in between my kitchen on this side and my living room on this side. So we had this empty wall. I wanted to put something up that would serve as storage and organization, but then would also look good as a YouTube backdrop in case I wanted to film any videos. It also give me a lot of room and really big work surface when I am painting my shoes. So this is the current state of all my stuff. You'll see like boxes there. My desk is not tidied or organized in any way. Let's just see how we can transform this space. So we decided to go to Ikea, pick up some of these wall shelves. These wall shelves are called Havstas. Ikea was a little bit of a disaster because when we drove there, we went to one Ikea that said all of these units would be in stock, but they only had one of the shelves. So one of the shelving units and then they were sold out of everything else. So then we had to drive to another Ikea and the other Ikea had centerpiece, but they didn't have the other shelf. So then we had to go to another Ikea and just all these Ikeas are sold out, but we were lucky to secure the three pieces that we wanted. So in today's video, I am going to walk you guys around my wall of shelves and everything that's in it, how I organize, how I decorated them, and what my setup is. A lot of you guys asked me how I do my top-down views and like how I record some of my videos. So I'm also going to include that in here as well. Anything that I can find again, I will make sure to link that in the description. If you have any questions, just let me know. Yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you guys what each of the shelves look like close up. My workspace mainly consists of this wall of shelves and then a really big desk in front of it so I can do all of my work, I can take the supplies, put it onto the table, and then at the end of a work day, put everything back onto the shelves. So I thought I would start with showing you guys what is on this side of the shelves. Right at the top, I have a pair of Jordans. That's just uh, one of the projects I have on my wait list. I've got to get around to doing that. I'm really excited to work on them. On this second shelf here, I have just a pair of my ice cream Air Force Ones. This is my personal pair. Funny story. So the one down below, let me talk about this first, is a zombie Air Force One mid that I painted with Angelus Direct. So if you haven't seen that video already, I'll link that in the description down below. But basically, I was in LA shooting with Angelus and I brought these shoes to go and 
photo shoot them before I gave them to the Angelus team so that they could do their like final B-roll and everything. So we went to the beach in Santa Monica and we went underneath the pier to try and take some cool shots. And so I set it up right by like the border of where the sand meets the water and the waves are coming in and I wanted to get this really cool shot. I set the shot down. I was like, don't worry, when the wave comes, I'm gonna pick up the shoes and I'll run. Left the shoes down there and within two seconds, the wave came crashing in. My shoes got wet, the zombie shoes got wet. If this isn't a testament to the quality of the paint and the whole paint job itself, I don't know what is because both of these shoes have been soaked in salt water and sand and kelp um, and they still survive and they're looking really good. So I try to put plants all over my house because I am obsessed. It's another thing that I buy a lot of and um, it's just really nice to have a bit of greenery. It really freshens up the space. Surprisingly, even though light from the windows are coming in this way. So essentially, this doesn't get any light at all. But I have these soft boxes that are pretty big and they produce the majority of light that I use throughout the day. So if I'm working um, an eight to 12 hour day, then those soft boxes are mostly gonna be on all day long. And that's pretty much enough light to, to light up these guys. They're thriving, there's like new growth and everything. So pretty happy with the, the fact that I can still put plants on my shelf without a window. On this side, I have just a container with some paintbrushes. They're old paintbrushes, paintbrushes that either I don't use, don't like to use, or they're frayed and I'm saving them for another project. Then I have Q-tips as well in this jar. Down on this section, this is basically within arm's reach at arm's height when I'm sitting at my chair. So I can just swivel back and this is the section that I can most easily reach and access. So I've decided that I'm going to put things that I tend to grab a lot when I'm working on the daily. So I have my paints here that are just organized on a spice rack. It's pretty easy if I wanna roll back and grab a paint or if I know that I'm gonna be using all of these paints for a project, I'll just bring the entire spice rack over to my desk, you know, use it, and then when I'm done, put it right back into its home. And things don't get cluttery, I don't end up leaving paint on my desk. Everything is very easy to see and easy to grab. And then on here, this is a rack that's used for like pots and pan lids. I use this to organize my palettes, my paint palettes. I love using ceramic or porcelain paint palettes because it means that I can just wash them at the end of the day. So on this side, this is where I store all of my acetone. Things that are in bottles basically will just go here. So I have a crate full of like extra shoelaces and accessories and things like that. This little stack of boxes is what I'm currently working on. Things that I need to either ship out or I need to start prepping. Most immediate projects will sit here. And I'll just show you guys actually one of the collabs that I am really excited about. I worked with three other amazing artists and we each did a swoosh design. So this is a Worthen. This is Skins Customs. This one I did. And then this is Kixar. I think we're going to give these away. So I need to photo shoot these and then set up the giveaway very soon. I don't know if the giveaway is still active while you're watching this video, but if it is, I will link it in the description and you guys can go and enter. Let's move on to the center part of the shelf here. The good thing about having a shelving unit like this is it's very modular and you can just swap things out as you like. So if I get bored of some of the shoes that I put up there or some of the decorations, some of the supplies, I think it's too busy, then I can take all of that and put it somewhere else. That painting in the back, I just threw together in like 20 minutes, nothing special, but I figured that it balanced out the space pretty well. Here I just have some of my Angelus leather and suede dyes. These are shoelaces from my Ice Cream Air Force One collab with your LCS, the shoe collection that I released last summer in 2020. Um, all the shoes are sold out. I'm not making any more of them. However, I think the shoelaces are still available for purchase if you're interested. I'll leave the link if I can still find it in the description. This is the hashtag swoosh Sunday suggestion jar. So I always go on Instagram stories and ask you guys what you guys wanna see next. Um, so your suggestions all go into here. Then I have just my paintbrushes. I've got a load of paintbrushes here. So in the back I have some Angela's brush set, brush, Brush. These brush sets 
I have some Angelus brush sets. In the front, I just have these detail brushes. These are my favorite detail brushes to purchase off of Amazon. Then in the center, this is where I store all of my stationery, things that I will use for when I'm doing my bullet journal or whenever I'm designing on paper and I just wanna use good old fashioned you know, markers, pencil crayons. In the front here, this is where I store the brushes that I'm currently using. So I have my big blue Sour Patch Kid. He follows me around everywhere and I like the pop of color, so I've just thrown him on top of this cabinet here. And he has a shrine full of candy down below. So now I'm gonna show you this cabinet that's in the center. One of the criteria that we had when we were choosing this shelving unit was to have some kind of a, a section that was closed off, cabinets with doors that we could put things behind. This reflective glass is probably not ideal when it comes to filming because then I'll always get reflections. But you know what, that's gonna be a challenge for future Vicky can sort of display some of the things as well as have a lot of storage. In my last apartment, we would get a lot of grease and we would get a lot of dust. Both of those things tended to form this like layer on my camera equipment. So on my lenses, you would get this like film of grease. So I wanted a place that I could store all of my photography gear, my camera sh my camera stuff, um, not have it be exposed to a lot of dust so I don't have to clean it so often. Up here I have just shoes that I'm currently using for my hashtag Swish Sundays. So right now, how many do I have? I have seven here. In the second layer here, I have a pair of Yeezys. I have the camera that I use for photography. So the camera that I'm filming on right now is the Canon EOS M6 Mark II. I really like that camera. That camera I use a lot for filming top down and a lot of like talking head videos as well. This camera right here is the Sony a7 III. A really, really good camera, especially for low light. So if you're taking photos where there's either not a lot of light or it's very dark, it surprisingly recovers a lot of details from those images. Like you can be taking a picture and you pop it into your computer and it looks black, it looks pitch black, but then when you process it, you can actually recover a lot of the details that are in that picture. On this side, I just have my flashes, um, some of my lenses, and any like attachments that I need, filters, things like that, go here. On this section here, I have more shoe boxes. I have shoe boxes everywhere. And then I also have a closet full of just white shoes that are ready to be painted. Yeah, so we, we stock a lot of shoes in this household. Uh, and then down to the bottom, that's pretty much where I put things that nobody's gonna see really, things I wanna hide. I know it's a glass door so you can still see it, but really if I'm filming, you're never gonna be looking at what's down there. So I have a pair of Jordans that I'm currently working on, and then I have just power bars, cables, you know, I'm just gonna throw in there. All right, so moving on to the other side of the shelves, I have another pair of Jordans. These are ones that are waiting to be worked on. So I've just stored it up top. Again, I have another ice cream shoe that I did. This was for an Instagram artist collab that I did. And this is what led to me working with um, the shoelace company to create an ice cream collection. This inspired it all. So I wanted to just leave that one up there. This shelf here, I just stored some of my books that I have lying around. I only have the one shoe, I don't have the other side. So the best place for it is just as display on my shelf. And this next shelf here is where I store my airbrush. So I have a Grex airbrush and I got this around, I wanna say late summer last year. It was an early, early Christmas present for myself. I also think it looks quite cool. So I've put it up on display as well. I can easily grab it, use it, and then again, put it back onto the shelf. All right, so in this corner, I decided to put some of my paints that I tend to grab a lot while I'm working. So I have my Liquid Kicks colors, I have some Alpha 6 paints in the back, I have some Liquid Kicks top coats. These are my favorite top coats to use. So I always have you know, them well stocked here, so I just quickly grab them. And then I have the Angelus one ounce containers over here. You know, if you're looking for certain colors, you can either pluck them out from here or you can pull the whole container. I can put it on my desk, use it, and then again, put it right back. So I have my heat gun down here. This is really easy to access. Just turn my chair around again, grab it, use it, and put it back. The heat gun I use pretty much every time I customize 
so I always have it handy. And then this is just a monitor that I use. Um, I connect it to my camera so that when I'm recording top down, I can see what the camera is picking up and what the field of view is. This is just a crate full of tape. So I have all types of tape. And then I also have my cotton swabs and some extra supplies here. And then I just have this like industrial buffer here. I actually use this to massage my shoulder and my back. <laughs> Has nothing to do with my shoes. I'm going to include a quick time lapse of me putting together my top down camera setup. It used to consist of an Amazon backdrop stand and I would take clamps and attach my camera to it or attach my phone to it. But since I've been using heavier cameras and lights as well, I decided to upgrade the legs to the same ones as my soft box and then bring in a sturdier rod that goes across. You can also look for boom arms on Amazon and attach your phone or your camera that will give you a similar top down effect. All these legs, clamps, accessories I purchased off of Amazon, so I will link those in the description if you are interested. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed a tour of my brand new workspace. It is very small. I live in a very small apartment, but this is everything that I could possibly need. There's enough room for my overhead setup. There's enough room for my studio lights, for my camera. Uh, there's enough space for me to roll around and grab my supplies and there's a home for everything. So I honestly have no excuse to not be creating and not be making new content for you guys. And I just wanted to say that even though I have so much stuff, you don't need even half of this stuff to start customizing your shoes. All you really need are the basics. You need a surface to work on, your paints, your shoes, your, your top coats, your brushes, just those simple things to customize and even to run a business if you want to. This is just a result of me being a little bit of a hoarder. I obviously have bought too many things. And speaking of which, actually, I am going to be posting a video on my Amazon favorites, the products that I buy while customizing. So make sure to check that out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, because like I said, I'm gonna be creating a lot more content. And if there's anything that you want to see, any questions that you have regarding customization or any cool projects you have in mind, leave it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Selavik, put my handle right here. So make sure to check that out. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around with me. I promise you'll see a lot more of this face in 2021. And until then, take care. Bye. My face